we have already put together a really robust, good looking introduction that uh, covers all of the main things that we need to include. Our body paragraphs are a little bit more loosey goosey. So the idea is that you have at least three solid body paragraphs and that you, you are guided by the prompts in this plan as to how you are going to put these together. So you will have your own notes in here in note note form. They don't need, necessarily need to be full sentences about the use of color and positioning, shape, um, an exploration of why the particular celebrity has been chosen. Um, and remember of our three Latin terms, ethos is the one that um, links to the use of celebrities to uh, increase credibility um, and, and increase the believability of a particular product or message. And we need to talk about the effect on the viewer and we need to have a bit more of um, a discussion or a more in-depth discussion of the target audience and how we've kind of figured out that they are the audience. So once you've got all of your notes together for your paragraph one, the idea is that you start to put this together in full sentences in your draft. So I don't want to confuse us too much. Let's copy our nice looking introduction. Just control C, control V into our draft spot here. And you can change the um, text back to black. Um, oof, so nice. And then we're, we'll be ready to stitch together our main paragraph, looking at our or using the notes that we should have already here about use of color, why this celebrity, etc. Um, and you don't have to, you know, do these in a particular order. You might really want to open by a discussion of why you think the advertiser, um, Peter has chosen Missy Higgins as their particular celebrity. So perhaps we would start there and you would, you would start writing your, your paragraph out. And if you want a little bit more structure, you can, um, you can sort of structure it a bit like the teal format that we used for our previous, um, analytical essay. So a sort of topic sentence introducing what you're going to, um, discuss, uh, some evidence from the text, an explanation of what the impact of this is on viewers, as well as some kind of linking paragraph back to, you know, the fact that we are looking at the over overall persuasiveness. Um, but that is okay. This is a little bit different in structure. It's fine for us to not use teal and to, I guess, go off the beaten path a bit, but let's start with, and in fact, you know, you have some nice looking notes here, so that's fine. But you might say something like, the advertisers have chosen Missy Higgins as their celebrity spokesperson. This is likely to be because Missy Higgins has a very um, gentle, wholesome appeal or um, image, shall we say. Um, you know, and I, of course, I'm aware that, you know, some of these terms are a bit loaded in and of themselves, but that she does, right? She's a beloved kind of folk pop singer, songwriter. Um, and she's holding the piglet. So... She is someone who seems trustworthy and projects the kind of um, the kind of image that might convince viewers who thought about vegetarianism. So there we have it. We've spoken about, you know, what we think the motives are behind the advertisers choosing this particular celebrity, right? Um, they haven't chosen some big macho guy who, you know, clearly consumes 80% protein all the time. Um, they've chosen Missy Higgins because she seems, you know, believable. It's using that ethos style appeal. 
This makes use of an ethos style appeal where Missy Higgins lends the, we can sort of say product, right? Or lends the message credibility. I.e. makes it more believable. Or you can say makes the message more believable. Oh. do we need to do so we've looked at why is this celebrity why why this celebrity in particular we've also spoken already about the effect on the viewer and we've even spliced in we've mentioned um the potential target audience let's look a little bit at color because that's interesting the ad is comprised you know of sort of tea first of all this teal background here and then kind of cream writing and green and Missy herself is wearing sort of muted earth tones, all right? Whew, and that, that is all really important and um, deliberate. So the colors in the advertisement are muted, um, you could say, or soothing. Yeah, if muted is perhaps not something that you would use in your vocabulary um, and create a calm calming tone um, Missy Higgins is wearing earthy colors which viewers may associate with you know I guess you would associate with, um, is it a stretch to say, with people who campaign for animal rights, okay? So those earthy colours, kind of natural fibres, yeah, you could say it may associate with um, people who, we can just say with animal lovers. I would even go on to maybe say the target audience is likely to be, and we've already spoken about this, probably people who are on the cusp of turning vegetarian but need a final nudge, okay? Because it isn't aggressive. It's a gentle ad. It's got a really friendly tone. Missy Higgins is smiling. There's a cute piglet. You could discuss all of that because they're all deliberately used, okay? And, and the idea is that, that the viewer is being manipulated but you could say that you know the target audience is likely to be people who are thinking of becoming vegetarian but need um encouragement um and this is because the ad is quite gentle in tone and it just you know it asks this rhetorical question which we would talk about in a later paragraph about you know who needs another um reason to become vegetarian but you can see there that's how we start to put together our paragraph 